How goes it, Android fans? It's me, the Koo Loser, and today's video is gonna be in the best apps of the week, so let's do it to it! Well, what do you know? It's the Koo Loser for show to deliver, so get ready for some apps and game. Not the one, but this is the place to go. Android tech, you know, doing my thing. The best of the weeks, you know how we go. Here on Koo Loser Tech, let's start the show. As always, the best live wallpaper of the week, it is called Node. As you can see right here, we got a little Android guy, and watch what happens when I touch him. It kind of warps out, and it stitches back in like it's healing, and it has a cool little effect to it. Like, you can actually change that stuff to shapes, clicking right here, or you can use text. And now this is my background, and check it out, works the same. Alright, let's move on to the best apps of the week now, shall we? And I'll start it off with HD Widgets. And this is a paid app. HD Widget is an application to set stuff like this. Click on the weather section right here, and it'll open up, search for different active widgets, themes. Just so we can see the widget setting, I changed the background. Ice cream sandwich or jelly bean, you're gonna go into widgets, and you're gonna be able to choose between here different sizes, different looks. Lots of people like these ones or this one. This is the one I have. So let's set this one. And let's set it right there. And you will see that I'm prompted into this little section. These are the background of the clocks. Clicking on it, you will see it change in live. Different colors right there to your liking, so you got lots of choices. So these up here are to actually choose different widget forms. So if you want to, to look this way, you know, you can choose it that way. But if you want to just edit this one, here's the section where we want to be. Clock. Let's go into this kind of clock. Go into the clock background if you want a background or not to it. And I'll change it. You can see it kind of move. Clock color. Let's change it to yellow. Clock color 2. That's the behind section. Let's do that one. And there's that color. If you're done and ready, just click on that. And we get the widget set. And you could also click on it. And it'll bring up the weather. So you see there, it'll update its thing. There's the one that I chose and I made. This is going to be like my one that I'll keep on there. So go try it out for yourself. Next up, we have Robin. Hello, cool loser. What are we doing today? If I remember correctly, I reviewed this application a long time ago, but it's getting better. You have lots of different things that you can do. Go into the section, you will see that you got the latest skills. You can click on here, you'll see satellite view, Facebook status updates, read your emails, get new messages, send messages, traffic and home, you will see search navigation, you know, weather, fun, news, you can have conversations with it, remind you, teach Robin things, miscellaneous. But let's go right here and say, Show me pictures of Android. Showing pictures of Android. Or how about this? Show me movie times. Showing movie theaters in your area. Choose your theater. If you can't see it, I'm very sorry. The setting is on the very lowest right there. As you can see, this is the highest. And look at that. It is all the way down. As you can see there, it's all the way down. And it's still kind of too bright for my lens. I don't know if it's because of the lighting in here. There's no more sun going on because it's been raining the last three days. If I do this, you'll be able to see it a little bit better. But continue on, you'll be able to look at the movies that are in that theater with its showtimes and trailers you'll be able to play. So you can ask it so many questions. Tell me a joke. Here is a good one. Two blondes nearly froze to death in their car at the drive-in movie theater. <laughs> you are dumb. I think I will need to talk with your mom. No, don't tell my mama. As you see there, that's how the application is going to work, so go try it out for yourself. Next up, we have Call Recorder. Those of you guys who want to record your phone calls, and I've reviewed many, and some of them still don't work for everybody, so maybe this one might work for you. Turn on recording. Turn it on. Call Recorder is working. Your further calls will be saved. So whenever I make a call or someone calls me, I'll be able to record the phone call, and then I'll be able to listen in. Go into your settings, you'll see enable notification, audio source. You might have to choose your best source, what works best for you to record. Audio channel, recording quality, file format. I'm not going to show you recordings on it, but you can test it out for yourself and tell me in the comments if it works for you. So go do it to it. Next up, we have scope. 
This application works great. It takes almost all your popular social networks into one section. As you can see here, everything and just see people's photos, videos, check-ins, notifications, and messages. You can see what kind of networks I'm logged into, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. You can keep adding more accounts and let's click into it. More services, we can do Foursquare and Tumblr. Go to popular and my profile to edit different things there. It's a little confusing to use at first, but the more you use it, the better you're gonna know how to navigate through this application. Going into everything, you see the blue little icons. I got something new there, so let's click on it. And this is my Twitter, Instagram, and personal Facebook account all in one section. But it'll keep the same point. Now, if there's new stuff going on, I'll be able to, you know, scroll up, even though I haven't checked this, so it'll keep my point. Instead of having Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, all separate, you know, different applications, you'll be able to see it all in one little section. Now scrolling to the right side, you'll be able to see everyone's photos that's posted to all your networks. Now going to the next, you'll be able to see everyone's videos. Here is Instagram, all your mentions, all your direct messages. Now click on this little plus sign means you want to add something, update your current location, add pictures, gallery. Click it on this little blue little tab will jump right into your ads where everyone's mentioning you. Go into your mail, just check your Facebook, your Instagram. You'll get notifications and it'll say scope message and it'll say where and what and who. And you can click into it and it'll jump right into the section. Go try it out for yourself. Here next we have Uber Social. Uber Social is another integration of your social networks. Those of you guys who love Twitter and want something new, this is something you might want to try. And it also has your Facebook that you can you know, tie in. I always like the application that allows you to swipe to the next pages. Like here's my mentions. I can click up here, you know, just go right to it. Go to inner circles. You can separate your friends, coworkers, acquaintance. Because lots of you guys might be following tons of people and it's hard to get through. Or you don't want to see everyone's stuff. You know, you can select a circle, a group of people you want to go to. Here's my Facebook section. I can read, comment, post, like, message everyone's Facebook statuses in here that you normally see on other applications. Go into search for different results, trends, nearby tweets in my area, retweets of people retweeting about me. Up here, obviously posting your status, upload pictures, search for things. You got your settings here to exit, jump to the top, back into this section, you'll be able to see your profile, mute users, timeline, mentions, direct mentions, inner circle, accounts, open user profiles, go into settings, and you'll be able to change the notification, choose theme if you want it to be a different color. It's a really cool Twitter and Facebook integration. If you want to follow me, look in the description below. Follow me at the cool loser. Next up, we have Nav Free. Now, before I go into it, there is another application that separates USA, but you're going to see basically the same thing, just not USA roadmaps. Now, how many of you guys rely on Google Maps? I use it lots of times when I'm trying to find a place to go. If I'm buying something on Craigslist and I want to go to the person's spot, I use Google Maps for that. But if Google Maps isn't enough, or you want to try something new and different, this application works really well. Navigate. If you want to go into Navigate, you can choose your address, Google search, recent destinations. Click it on here, will take you to different sections where you can choose and say where you want to go. City center, Portland, which is 15.2 miles away. Route here, it'll give me a turn by turn. It'll speak loudly, really loud, in fact. You got your distance of how long it's going to take you to get there. Miles per hour will show up there. And you also have some options here to change or 2D. You can go into route options and you can choose if you want walking modes, what kind of vehicle, avoid tolls, avoid motorways. So you'll be able to choose the fastest way to get there. Go into advanced, switch to night mode, sounds on, volume, map feedback, and more preferences there. So another good feature is wherever you're at in the United States, you'll be able to download your state's roadmap. So if you're always going to be in your state, you know you'll be able to download your area. So therefore, you can use this as an offline GPS. Nothing much more to say other than you're going to have to try it out for yourself. Next up, we have Face Tones. This application allows you to see whoever's calling you or texting you with their Facebook statuses. It's gonna give you a tutorial on how to navigate and what you're gonna do and how to set it up so it'll integrate and sync your contacts using this application so whenever you get a text message, you're gonna get greeted with their statuses, with their photos, what they're doing. Click on whatever to reply or answer the phone call. Right now, if I scroll and click on her, you'll be able to see that I can preview pictures and status close it, and you'll see something different every time they call you or text. It's not going to be the same pictures at all times. 
go into this guy preview. As you can see, these photos are generated by itself. It's pretty cool. You'll see that type of deal when you get a text message or a phone call. And that's the purpose of this application. It's just to make your Android more enjoyable, try new things. If you like it, go try it out for yourself, right? Next up, we have Sketch Guru. This application allows you to take a picture right now or go into your gallery, select the photo, and then you got options here to go by this square where you can re rearrange three by four, four by three, nine by 16, 16 by nine, or free as in make it however to be exactly how you want it to be. Once you're ready, click on the check mark and you will see here we got the options to change different colors if you want to select this area. Some of these sketch changes take a little bit long, maybe up to 30 seconds. And you can see it kind of changed it there or go into pencil sketch. Watercolors, here's simple sketch right there. Changed it up. You got your comic black and white. This is your print, pencil sketch too. I kind of like print. Once you're done, press save or you can share. Let's open up my gallery, go into here, click on there. And you will see this is one of the pictures that I tested it out for myself. All right, I'm not sure why it's not showing up in here, but this is where it would be. Obviously I saved this one, so I'm not sure why I didn't save the other one. Maybe it'll show up in a little bit. It's one of the refreshers of some sort. But go try it out for yourself. And last but not least, we have Mirror. This application worked really great, and I think it's gonna be really useful for girls. Hi! I'm sure lots of girls carry mirrors, but this is a cool application because if I want to, let's say, brighten it up, brighten it up from here so I can see myself, freeze the photo right here. So I just froze the photo there. So you can see if my makeup was really good or not. If it's kind of dark, if you turn this on, you get this little white square and that will actually illuminate your face so you'll be able to see more light in your face. Rotate. It kind of works, it works kind of weird. So obviously this requires a front facing camera. Let's check out the zooming. <laughs> That's not creepy enough. <laughs> Works really good. Go try it out for yourself. And there you guys have it. These are the best apps of the week right off of Google Play. Brought to you by me, the cool loser. And as always, enjoy your applications. I will be seeing you guys next time for the best games of the week. Once again, don't forget to like my video. I got lots of other stuff on my channel. Go check it out. And I shall see you guys next time. Later. The cool loser is